In this video, we will install Home Assistant on Synology's Virtual Machine Manager. Virtual Machine Manager is a hypervisor which allows you to run virtual machines on your NAS. This gives you the ability to run operating systems such as the Home Assistant OS. VMM supports many different operating systems, allowing you to run Windows, Linux or appliance virtual machines on your NAS. VMM also allows you to import virtual machines in the popular VMware OVA format. VMM is available on some Synology NAS products. To check your device, see the following web address. Although not essential, it is recommended to expand memory if possible. We'll first install the Virtual Machine Manager. To do this, log into your NAS. Open up the Package Manager and scroll down until you find Virtual Machine Manager. Click Install. DSM will download VMM and will run the setup. Select a destination to install to. This is normally your first disk. Click Next. To confirm settings, click Done. Once installed, you can either open VMM from here or open up the program folder and open it there. Once launched, it will run the VMM setup wizard. Click Start. It will check the host settings. If all is well, click Next. It will ask you to select a volume. VMM can only be set up on a BTRFS volume. Select and click Next. When complete, click Finish. VMM is able to import VMware ESXi images with the extension OVA. Therefore, we're able to download the OVA image as a file from the link shown on the screen, copied in the description below. Once downloaded, go back to VMM and select the Virtual Machine submenu. Click the down arrow next to Create and select Import. Select Import from OVA files and click Next. Select Upload a file from PC and click Browse. Navigate to where you downloaded the OVA file and open it. Click Next. Select the storage you wish to use and click Next. Configure the specifications. You can select more CPUs and memory if you wish, but no less than two of each. For now, keep the storage at 32 gigabytes and keep the default network settings. Click Next. Change Auto Start to Yes and Firmware to UEFI. Change the keyboard layout if necessary and change the virtual USB controller to USB 3. If necessary, you can select a USB device, for instance a Zigbee controller. Click Next. 
select users to give power management permissions to. Click next. Check the summary screen. If all is well, click done. VMM will now import the image and apply the settings. Once imported, the status should show as powered off. To start Home Assistant, select it and click Power On. Home Assistant should start. This will take a few minutes. Once the IP column shows an IP address within your router range, Home Assistant is ready to browse to. Ignore IP addresses starting with 172.30, these are internal addresses within VMM. To set up Home Assistant, open up another browser tab and enter the IP address of the virtual machine, followed by colon 8123. You may be presented with a Preparing Home Assistant screen. If so, wait for a few minutes. Enter your name, a username and your password twice when prompted. Click Create Account. Detect your location. If all is well, click next. If you wish, allow analytics on this screen. Click next. On the last screen, click finish. Home Assistant is now set up and you can configure devices and add-ons. Please see our selection of other Home Assistant videos to learn more about what to do next. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you like what you saw. Please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron at our Patreon or join our channel. The details are below.